Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a powers of two fractal, which is composed of squares. I need two colors and a ruler, and I'm using quarter inch grid paper. You could also construct this in Minecraft or similar building programs. So to start with, um, my first square is more or less in the middle of my page because I'm going to need space on each side to be adding the following iterations. An iteration is a step where I've repeated a rule. So because I'm using quarter inch grid, each one inch is going to have four squares in it, which is easy for me to divide by two later, which is what I'm going to be have to, doing. So start off with make a square that is eight by eight. And then off of each vertex, that means each corner, I'm going to make another square whose dimensions are half the size. So instead of eight by eight, I'm going to be making a four by four coming off of each of the corners. get the hang of it, you can do a couple at a time. You don't have to use two colors, I just like the way it looks when it's all done. Okay, so that's the second step, or the second iteration. Okay, so the next, I'm going to go off of each of the corners of my little green squares here, and I'm going to make another square that is half, or the dimensions are half, what the green one was. So this was a four by four. So I'm going to be making a two by two. And I'm still going to use my ruler because I want it to be neat. Okay, if you prefer to do each individual square one at a time, that's fine. I'm just trying to be a little bit more efficient with this. Oh, I see I missed a section there. So one variation that you could add, which I think looks kind of interesting, is I've got the, these four, three blue squares around the outside of my green here. I could add a fourth so that it's actually repeating on all four corners of the green. Um, and I'll show you what that does in a minute here. one more layer to this. So now each of these blues is a two by two, and I'm gonna add a one by one on each corner, off of each vertex. Thank you. 
etc. So in the end, if I continue and then color it in, um, I should get something like this. <laughs>